astronomy is a really fascinating science. Um, we talk a lot about the kind of physics that we're trying to discover and you know learning about gravity and the fundamental forces and how things form and how things evolve and whether there's life in the universe. Well, the big thing for me is dark, uh, dark energy, dark matter. I mean, it's where the big, the big mysteries lie, you know. And if we can tap into that, maybe, maybe there's things that will shake all our understanding of, of the universe currently. Does Einstein's theory of general relativity correctly describe the universe that we live in today? And there's actually two alternative. I mean, there's two answers to this question: is yes, but we need this completely exotic, crazy dark energy. And the other answer is no. Einstein's theory of general relativity doesn't describe the universe we live in. And then we have to revolutionize not only our laws of gravity, but you know, uh, our, our vision of how the universe works and how it started. And and that's a crazy revolution in itself. Like, how do galaxies get their fuel? So we know the galaxies need to get fuel to continue to evolve, um, to drive star formation. And so it's really important to know how much fuel they're actually able to accrete. And you know, the closest galaxy is the one we're in. So that's kind of useful to know about. I think we've got to talk about exoplanets, planets around other stars. In particular, in that time scale, in the next 10 years or so, we'll be able to detect the atmospheres around normal planets around other stars. And if we can detect atmospheres, we'll be able to see if there's oxygen in those atmospheres. And if there's oxygen, there might be life. It's at least part of the reason that looking for new planets is so, so exciting. It's something where people can really see, I could potentially live there. Search for exoplanets. It's a search for Earth-type planets, for Earth-type wor Earth worlds, for other places we could go. And, but to me, that is very much the search for other people. So we can actually look at further than we could ever send any object, even at the speed of light, right? We can see places that um, we'll ne we could never ever reach and still explore them as scientists. We can actually look in the sky and see galaxies that no longer exist. We can see light from the Big Bang. So we have this unique place of being able to observe the universe. What's cool for me, actually, is if we, if we were existing um, billions of years in the future, we wouldn't see any of this. We wouldn't see galaxies. We live at this really special time where we care about the universe and we can understand it, um, but we can still exist. So it's, yeah, it's great.